la 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 Hey, boo, hey, if this first time to my channel, I'm welcome. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these parts say. Oh, and I'm a cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you who don't cuss, okay? Also, thanks for the likes, the shares, the subscribe, the comments, the donations, the readings, the love. Thank you so very much from the most humblest space ever. Thank you. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family, y'all. <laughs> We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we cuss, we share, we grow, we love, we enlightened, we cry sometimes because we family. We evolve. Posi vibes only over here. We do positive type of things over here on the Mokalo Tarot channel, okay? Also, if you're returning subscriber, because see, last time I did a Leo reading, y'all had a crush on me. Hey, Leo. <laughs> I had to show up with no makeup because I had just got up for one night. But hey, Lions, how y'all doing? <laughs> I was going to do Gemini. If you a Gemini cross-watching, I'm doing you today. But I ain't going to have to bathe in my Florida water first because y'all had my lights flickering and lamps going off and shit. Then come back on. So, I, you know. I was like, well, let me just put them right on over there. We're going to talk about that. But, anywho, neither here nor there. Hey, hey Lines. How y'all doing? Jim and I gave me a little spook this morning. <laughs> All right, well, let's get it. So, if you're dealing with a Gemini, I don't know if you're feeling a little spooky. You got Gemini in your chart. Got some spooky things going on. Um, You guys, <laughs> y'all know I'm goofy. <laughs> This will be for the summer, Rise of Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Leo for the month of October for the first half. I know I'm late, but y'all know the messages always come great. Y'all, this is some free shit. I be having to do my readings. So, and I, I'm, readings been crazy. You get what I'm saying? I know y'all don't want to be like, y'all don't want to get on here and hear Mocha say, well, I'm no longer doing personal readings because y'all going to flip. Y'all going to flip tables and shit. No, sis, we need to listen. So I'm doing the best that I can. It's just a little me. Just got off, came back from vacation. I feel really good, you guys. So let's get into it, all right? If you need a personal reading, again, that information can be found in the description. It ain't going to resonate. Take what does, leave the rest, and let's rock and roll, all right? Overall, intuitively, I do feel, Leo, you guys are trying to mend the situation. I heard mend defenses. I also heard family ties. Some of you guys could actually be having conversations with family to get to the bottom of things or get to a resolution of some sort. Some of you guys are also dealing, Leo, men, you're dealing with, some of y'all are dealing with legalities when it comes to child support, paternity, okay? Some of you all, some of y'all... 60% of y'all who dealing with that is going to have positive news about the paternity of a child. You may not like the judgment, but I am hearing uh, renegotiation or negotiation or also for some of y'all, you may be uh, needing to seek some type of um, some type of family attorney due to somebody just trying to be spiteful and make you go all the way back, even though the child support order is new because somebody's being fucking spiteful because you ain't choose up on them, period, okay? Others of you... There may be some not so good news when it comes to paternity of a child. Some of you guys are going to find out that somebody was lying about even being pregnant in the first place in order to keep another person in a relationship. So that That's being illuminated during this time. You need to speak up for yourself, Leo. Some of you guys know that you have some type of, some of y'all have a twin flame union that your angels, pretty much your guys have been on your ass about. This goes for men and women. And you guys are not moving. There's this sense of stagnancy. You're getting ready to be pushed off a cliff in the month of October. Y'all know I'm an Aries, so I'm going to give it to you straight, okay? Also, for some of you all, there's a need for you all to mend fences in order to... Um, some of you all, this has to do with custody of a child or being able to see a child or co-parent. You need them to push your ego aside, put it in your damn pocket and learn how to have comp compassion for an individual. Because some of y'all are going to find out that you're dealing with a person who has mental illness or mental issues. And it's 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 ancestral, okay? It's hereditary. Come from a whole long line of crazy motherfuckers. Love the crazy motherfuckers, okay? I come from some crazy motherfuckers. Gotta love them, but you also gotta understand and learn them how to and learn how to connect to them, okay? And it's not to feed their bullshit, it's to set boundaries, but understand 
that sometimes your communication is not really reaching them. You got to make sure that they comprehend what the hell you're saying versus just communicating what you're saying. It'll hit somebody. That's for somebody. Okay. Some of you all are um, going to be hearing positive news regarding community. Somebody, somebody has some type of car issues, or you could have been waiting for some type of some type of letter or some type of co-signing to approve you for a vehicle that looks very positive. If somebody got an unexpected pregnancy happening, I feel like you thought a situation was dead and over and somebody's having to eat up the, yeah, the ego is being transformed here. Some of you could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio, others of you in Aquarius, and some of y'all could be the sign of Taurus. Neither here nor there. Let's get it. Okay. Angel message. You know what to do. Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Things being light, things being illuminated, light being shed on situations, people, places, things. In order for you to speak up, speak your truth, set, set, set healthy boundaries, okay? But also come to some type of resolution around what's being illuminated, okay? So this could even have to do with your own personal feelings. Leo, you know, this has to do with a lot of y'all I'm here with your life path and what it is that you want to do. Spirit is saying allow your light to shine versus actually allow your light to shine. Because your light, your goal, your legacy, your your ancestral wealth is coming from your light shining. Stop putting yourself in a fucking box. Take that damn light out that damn lantern and let the damn let the wind hit that damn fire so it can actually spread. Some of you all put yourself in a box. Spirit is saying you know what to do. Quit sitting and waiting and holding up and stagnating because the shit ain't gonna change. You got to jump off the cliff, Leo. Okay. Um, overall energy around the reading, you guys got the four of diamonds as well as the ten of um, clubs. Okay, so I definitely feel a lot of situations that some of you all are laying a family situation to rest. You're just going to go the, go the legal way out to make sure that someone is fair when it comes to um, actually having access. I'm hearing access to the children. Okay. So I did pull some uh, pull some cards from you for you guys um, when it comes to the ocean. Well, I... Or your subconscious, you guys, on your subconscious space, where you guys going to kind of be at in the headspace for the month of October or where you are now currently, you know, time is energy, okay? So, with that, I laid out some messages for you guys with the ocean zone. This is what fell out. I was actually trying to get three cards. Lucky fucking line. Y'all got one, two, three, four, five, six, seal mode, okay? So, let's get it. Some of you all may feel as if you on the outside. Whatever whatever it was that you guys are waiting on to hear communication from or get some type of clarity regarding, you guys are look on the outside looking into a situation. So I feel like it's testing your patience. Some of you guys, this could have to do with your love matters. But I feel like whatever it was that you were waiting to hear clarity from, this could have to do with children, okay? Some of you guys are getting the outside. You feel as if you having to be or you're forced to be on the outside looking in in order to make some type of transformation, okay? Some of you guys feel as if you have to choose love over, I'm not going to say over your children, but it's like, or someone feels this way towards you. Someone has to leave something completely behind or set some type of boundary that could force another person to react with taking something away and there's fear around it. And it has to do with your own childhood and it's ties to abandonment for some of you all I'm hearing, okay? For others of you, this has to do with patience, okay? Whatever it is that you've been patiently waiting to Whatever it is that you've been patiently waiting to grow, your business has not been stagnated, Leos, who are business owners. Things are occurring for you to actually find that grounding within yourself. Your ancestors and your guides, they got you, baby. But I feel like a lot of you all are refusing to see the work that's needing to be done. Instead, you're looking outside of yourself for the answer, outside of yourself for um, clarity coming from other people. And Spirit is saying, the missing piece, what's being illuminated comes from within you. Some of you guys may be having a lot of lucid dreams during this time. Clarity may be coming through the dream space and the subconscious, okay? Others of you are patiently waiting for somebody to have some type of baby to get to. Yeah, somebody could even have a child. And I do hear DNA very heavily. So for some of you all, the missing piece of the information that has been eating your, eating your ass up alive is getting ready to be illuminated. For some of you all, y'all going to find out that somebody is just started a whole nother fucking life and integrated their life with somebody else's and they didn't move on, but they don't know how to tell you. They're taking a cowardly like approach. For others of you, this could have to do with... Something that you were patient about building and building a structure on it. It was built from a space of codependency, so it's being torn down. And this is a force from the universe to make you face your fear of being by yourself. For some of you all, in order to um, 
in order to kind of force that path of self-mastery, but it's going to work out in your favor in the end, okay? For some of you all, this is about integrating in a healthy way. This is about a coming together, energies being integrated. For some of you all, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you all are mastering the path of being the wounded healer. Others of you, this has to do with the divine partnership. And for some of you all, this has to do with self-mastery, creating your own reality based on where it is that you... Um, what it is that you perceive hmm, it to be. So for some of you all, you won't allow love to integrate into your life because you perceive as if you're going to be hurt in every relationship. You perceive love based on where you've been versus taking the lesson from it. So they're saying integrate the wisdom, not the actual guilt, not the actual resentment, not the actual fear of abandonment. You needed to allow yourself to be healed and go, go in and deal with those triggers. Why does this trigger me when this person act like this? Why am I being triggered not to make a move? Why am I not moving toward the things that I want to do? What the fuck is in my way? What is triggering me? Is this this fear of success? Hmm? Hmm? Is it this fear of what you've done and what you perceive that how you perceive that another person looks at you if you make a move? Will it will it be taken seriously? Someone I am hearing wants show me, show me very heavily. I keep hearing show me. Someone is trying to show you and integrate that energy, but someone is being very damn defensive in this because this clarity needs to be given. I definitely feel the energy of something needs to be rectified in order for something to move forward. There a problem needs to be sealed tight. And I'm feeling that spirit is bringing you guys forcefully, so voluntarily and involuntarily into this space of integration. So some of y'all this has to do with integrating. Some of y'all it's a blending of families, okay? Oh, good itch. Some of you all, you may have people outside of yourself kind of putting that guilt or trying to um, kind to place this guilt on you. Some of you all, there's this release of whatever it is that you've been trying to hold on to. That is preventing this aspect of integration because behind that comes transformation, the mastery of the self. You the motherfucking magician. And it's time to act accordingly. With your courage at line. Don't be scared. You got to have hard eye chi in these streets. Okay? Because you're ending cycles. Anything that is not working for your growth, it's not moving you towards your purpose, your highest good, you letting that shit go. Whether it's a person, place, job, a uh, situation, ship, boo thing. Boo thing, boo thing, you done with the bullshit. You know what to do. And a lot of you all, life is being shed on situations that are needing to be released in order to integrate the new energy that's trying to come into your life. In there, like swim well, Leo. The fuck? Let's get it. Three more messages do you have for my beautiful lion summarizer? Venus as one of the cross watchers, as I am part time. <laughs> oh. Shit is all over the place for y'all in love. I thought some of y'all finna get you know, on the damn roller coaster. You in the twilight zone. <laughs> we have my lion for the month of October. Definitely a coming together with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Someone wants to heal a situation with you, Leo. You want a new situation to get off the ground. Some of you all have a new beginning. I feel like for some of you all, this is uh, having to do with business, okay? If you have a business partner, you and this person could possibly not be seeing eye to eye during this time. I feel like someone's greed or someone someone's mask came off in the month of September for some of you all. For others of you... I feel like things need to, yeah, in order for things to start new or to have this new beginning, there's a behavior that needs to be walked away from, from the past, which is giving little or keeping damn doors open or closing doors, but keeping the damn window open for distractions to come in and out and actually cutting off people from your past, okay? You are another person. This could have to do with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. For those of you who are dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you could be cutting off a younger earth sign. And actually trying to integrate with the new earth sign that's new who actually wants family. This person could be a Capricorn, okay? If this person actually had a family or some type of outside tie, there's a third party getting cut off in the month of October. And I feel like this is this is divinely orchestrated, baby, because there was either you could have been the catalyst to somebody getting cut off. Somebody could have found out about you being a third party, Leo, okay? But a third party who have pretty much, some of y'all, this person placed themselves in the place of being a third party. They thought that you were going to reconcile with them. So somebody tried to manipulate a reconciliation using children. And there's a need for you to set boundaries because some of y'all are going to lose your blessing. 
for a damn burden that you can't speak up about releasing out of your damn life because you out of out of a it's from a place of fear of loss that you won't have something, okay? Yeah, some of you guys definitely want to heal a connection. If you're dealing with the sign of Taurus or Capricorn, this person may be wanting to return, especially if you have children with this person. This person wants to lay the fighting and the toxic shit to rest. They actually want to build on the commitment. They don't really know how they how to tell you this, I feel. For some of them, somebody, somebody is kind of sitting in their pride and it's internally killing them to do so. Because someone really wants to build with you, Leo. Some of you all really want to build with this damn Scorpio, this Cancer, this Pisces. After, and some of you guys are unsure how a person really feels. Like some of y'all really want to give to a situation, but you're scared that this person is going to retaliate. Uh, I heard retaliate. You scared that this person is going to retaliate from something that someone is still holding on to some type of resentment feel or resentful feelings from the past about. Okay, and this could be somebody who smoke a whole lot of weed, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a person who are masking your emotions with uh, addictions or with, I ain't even going to call it addictions. I'm going to call it substances. Some of y'all smoking weed, but when your ass can get the munchies and you get high and you wake up, that shit's still on your mind. Some of you all, there is some type of stagnation when it comes to reuniting with someone and offering a cup of love. I'm feeling the aspect of lost time. Somebody feels that they're running out of time to make some type of an offer of rebuilding on a situation to show someone that they're serious. They, they're they really wanting to put in the work. There could be fears around or self-sabotage around you telling yourself what you don't have or what this hottest person is going to judge you based on what you don't have. Okay. Some of you all, some of you all are wanting to transform a situation. You don't know. Okay. You need to make a decision on if you want to reunite with a person for to give them some sense of closure uh, when it comes to a particular relationship that means a whole lot to you, Leo, and this other person. But it's a whole lot of pride. Y'all choosing pride over unconditional love. You are another person, okay? Spirit is showing me is you needing to reach out, Leo, possibly to a Capricorn. Or this could be somebody reaching out to you. But for some of you, if you a Leo man, you're being called. You're being, like, not forced, but spirit is on your part heavy. To reach out to go get what you want because you're going to be pleasantly surprised in the month of October to understand that somebody also is willing to put in the work and work it out with you. They just want you to show them that you're serious, that this relationship can truly be transformed, okay? But some of you, you could be reconciling with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or, uh, or a Scorpio person. You guys could also be resurrecting a situation that was long that you thought was dead. There's transformation in it, okay? Some of y'all are needing to uh, are, are going to be reaching out and receiving communication of a solid offer. I feel like it's going to come through playful, so another person is not going to take you serious. You're not going to take them serious. But this person really wants to transform things and let the burden some portion of the relationship go. Wherever there was burden, wherever there was some type of financial stagnancy, I see that transforming. And this could come by way of a Capricorn, Cancer, a Libra, or an Aries person, okay? Yeah, whatever was being, yeah, someone, I feel like someone had an issue with opening up about their, um, opening up about their emotions. This person is going to let all the damn beans feel because they're tired of the situation being stagnant, okay? I feel like someone is kind of being a catalyst or someone is coming in to cause some type of tower when it comes to the perception of how you perceive what was assumed ain't what it is at all. It was really someone having this fear of rejection because they have grew up in some grew up dealing with rejection or abandonment that they really have not dealt with. They just jumped from relationship to relationship to relationship and now they really met their damn match and someone who really matters who they want to deal with and there's this fear that somebody going to do them something. Somebody going to leave before they even give a chance, okay? Someone could also have issues with somebody from the past using them for money or people in their past that they dated using them for money so there's this fear around well, I'm going to sit back and just see what the hell you going to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I really want to build it to you. Even though I want to be this king of pentacles or this queen of pentacles, I want to give you this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sit back and see what the hell you willing to build on. We, are we both willing to build on this? Even though we both are willing to build on this. But it's this fucking energy that is preventing this. It's holding these back, holding these feelings, these emotions back. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with Scorpio, okay? Some of y'all are worried about what was illuminated to a Scorpio. If there was any secrets about a damn Pisces or a Cancer, the Scorpio is going to find out. But I feel like it's a destined. It's destined It's destined for this information. This could also have to do with vulnerability. Someone speaking up about their feelings. If somebody was holding their feelings aside, somebody is waking the fuck up, they kicking these damn casket strings the fuck open, and they stepping out like, I'm awake now, bitches. And this is what I got to say. It's 
going to be illuminated anyway. Because the outcome is this. By you going inside and choosing to face your fears that you've internally been internally conflicted about, you know, making a move on towards. Some of y'all is really fighting with a damn Virgo. But Spirit did not already shown you that that's not for you. Because for some of y'all, your blessing is coming in the form of a damn Gemini, an Aries, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Who else? I'm trying to see who else. Oh, Sagittarius. That you gotta forgive. Who you could have family with. And you wanna burn this motherfucker up. But to be very honest with your spirit is saying compromise, compassion. Hear them out, okay? But you definitely got blessings when it comes to the coin. You guys are definitely birthing something new. Whatever it was, for those of you who are wanting to start businesses, I definitely feel a transformation majorly around your money, your finances, okay? I definitely feel this even has to do with love. But some of y'all, I heard all new everything. So this could have to do with love. Your actual finances, your stability, things are being transformed for you. Some of y'all could be seeing 11, 11 a whole lot. A whole of uh, some of y'all could be seeing 3, 3, 3 a whole lot. Every fucking 10 I got in the damn business is in this bitch. So you guys are definitely in these cycles. And I feel like you're going inside and being real with yourself. Listen, I love this motherfucker. Why am I fighting with them? I'm just going to trust myself and tell this motherfucker I love them, how I feel. And I'm not going to sit in this space of what could happen. I'm not going to try and finesse a situation uh, and, and try and get me right while I hold this shit. Any, and some of y'all, there will be secrets revealed uh, regarding the Gemini as well. And I feel like that's tied to children. For some of you all, this could also have to do with a Scorpio person, a Pisces person, a Cancer. But whatever it is that was causing the wall to be there, the wall was being dropped in the month of October and Leo is allowing themselves to love, honey. If you're dealing with an Aries, I do feel some type of trans transmutation or some for some of y'all this could be a new love but for some of you all i'm feeling a strong energy of reconciliation okay um some y'all there could have been a, a secret child that was had with a capricorn somebody's not going to be a fucking secret anymore honey they come in to spill all the tea because they want what they want and you know that you're supposed to be with this person anyway but this universe just like they've been on your head to make a move they've been on their head to speak up so understand co-creation is taking place leo you're gonna let it in you're gonna let all of this new new up in this thing because you're definitely in this cycle toxic cycles are ending and re are being re renewed regenerated revisited what you want, you're going to get it. Whoever was fighting this family, whoever was fighting the aspect around family, whoever was fighting this commitment that they wanted in their heart, but they mind is stubborn as hell, somebody going to run after their heart in the month of October. Once they face this fear of juggling, making a damn decision to make a move when this was a past life damn hurdle and it's sold contract time because Pluto has gone direct. To free yourself from a situation and go get your queen of wands or your queen of pentacles, honey, because I hope the queens is in the building. For some of you all, yes, it is going to leave another person this way. But this is your blessing. How long will you keep sabotaging your blessing? Fuck all of them. Could you be the same selfish that people intend that you are any damn way? It's about your happiness. For some of you all, this is the opportunity that you have to get what it is that you've been trying to manifest. You brought this to you. Will you trust it? Hmm. Hmm. Because it's your good karma. You brought this to you. Some of you all are dealing with the sign of Libra. Some of you all, after releasing yourself from some type of commitment, okay, I do feel justice going in your favor when it comes to children. And issues around children, especially if it's a new baby, okay? Some of you all are finding out that you're pregnant. Good karma for the work that you've done. Congratulations, because Mocha loves the kids. But your good karma is the new new. You see that sun? The moon got to come illuminate some shit. <laughs> so the shine, so the so the so the so the sun can help you get your shine on, baby. Like new money. A lot of y'all is walking in the new money. Offers everywhere. Open up and be receptive and don't be so damn prideful. Think you gotta let it go. Let it go, baby. Looks like another love TKO. Let it go. All right. It's safe, Leos. That's what I have for y'all for the month of October. If you need a personal reading, y'all hit me up because this is juicy, okay? Y'all hit me up. I love y'all so very, very, very much. And I, um, 
If you haven't already, follow me on uh, Instagram, y'all, where I do weekly elementals. I have to remember what the hell I be saying, what, what I was thinking about. Oh, the monthly elementals, or oh, monthly, weekly elementals on Instagram. Follow me at, at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. All right. And y'all, come join the family over there, too. Don't miss all the tea. I'll be trying to give y'all the tea. I'm trying to give you tea type things. Okay. So I love you all. I'll see you all for the mid months. Peace, love, and light. Namaste. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>